Understanding the phrase, scream at someone. Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into the world of expressions and idioms. In this video, we'll explore the meaning and usage of the phrase, scream at someone. Whether you're a beginner or looking to polish your English skills, this video is for you. So let's get started and unravel the nuances of this common English expression. When we say someone screams at another person, it means that they are shouting or yelling at them in a very loud and often aggressive manner. It's important to note that this phrase usually implies anger or frustration. For instance, if a parent is very angry at their child for breaking a rule, they might scream at the child. However, it's not always about anger. Sometimes, someone might scream at another person out of fear or urgent need. In this section, we'll explore various scenarios where scream at someone can be used. 1. Anger. The manager screamed at the employee for missing the deadline. Here, it denotes anger and disappointment. 2. Urgency or danger. She screamed at her friend to move away from the falling tree. This reflects urgency and a need to quickly convey a warning. 3. Frustration. He screamed at the computer screen when it crashed again. This is an expression of frustration, not directed at a person but at an object. 4. Fear. The child screamed at the sight of the dog. This indicates a reaction out of fear. It's crucial to understand the cultural context. In some cultures, screaming at someone can be seen as very disrespectful and might cause a serious offense. Also, non-native speakers might misinterpret scream at someone as a playful or non-serious action, which is usually not the case. It's typically a display of strong emotion, and understanding this can help in better communication. We hope this video helps you understand the phrase, scream at someone, in all its nuances. Remember, learning a language is not just about words but understanding the emotions and contexts behind them. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to replay this video if you need a refresher. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.